it would have been 10 years in May. And I don't know exactly why she left, but I just can't help thinking that without her, I don't know if there's any point living at all. Hey, we're here to keep you away from thoughts like that. Jesse, do you have anything that might cheer us up? Now, hold on, okay, this isn't like the last one that I made you play. The one that you didn't like. Although, Settlers of Catan is technically an S-tier game. It doesn't matter. This is a choose-your-own-adventure game. It is a chance to escape your earthly turmoil into the world of fantasy. I think we could all use a little bit of that right now. Okay. All right. Your band of adventurers comes to a large ravine. If you brave the bridge, card 60. If you venture onto the path, card 30. Guys, I don't feel like doing this right now. Come on, man. Just give it a try. It'll take your mind off things. Okay. Um, the path. The path is more treacherous than it seems. You kill yourself. Oh, why don't we start <laughs> with a less dangerous part? That just seems... Yeah. All right, chapter four. We're in the feast hall of evil overlord Ventonius. You are offered a sip from the royal chalice. If you sip, go to card 92. If you deny the overlord's offer, card 108. I'm gonna drink. The elixir fills you with visions of utopia. You lower the goblet thoroughly refreshed. Huzzah! The chalice is passed to you. Sip or deny, I am no coward. I drink. Card 120. The lively broth invigorates your bones. Well done. The chance is now yours, young lord. What will it be? Well, I guess you guys drank, so I should be safe. I'll drink. You kill yourself. Well, we can't end on that one. <laughs> A blow to the head fells the mighty troll. You are victorious. The goblins accept you as one of their own. You are awarded a fertile goblin wife. You kill yourself. Centaur concubine. Tax break. You kill yourself. A whore. You kill yourself. Okay, this is the final move that could vanquish Lord Ventonius. We just need to decide whether to strike his left gauntlet or his right. Which will it be? Come on, Donnie, you can do this. No, every time I do it, it just tells me to kill myself. Oh, come on. What is actually the worst thing that could happen? It'll tell me to kill myself. Just draw the card, Donnie. Okay, um, right gauntlet. Whatever one that one is. A blow to the right gauntlet commands a shriek from Ventonius, who staggers to his knees and with his last breath utters the words, Love, it's what I've never known. You have defeated Ventonius and freed the kingdom of Hathgruel from his vehement clutches. You stand together as brothers, stronger together than you were apart, realizing that love was the key in the triumph against the most terrible force Hathgruel has ever seen. <laughs> Continued on card 176. But though the companionship of victory is now warm and present, you can't help but wonder if it will leave you as everything has left you in life, leaving you with nothing but your fractured facade of courage atop a hollow shell, reverberating with the echoes of those who once swore to love you but now are gone. Because you're a douchebag. You kill yourself. Well, should be getting back. Jesse, you forgot your game. Uh, no, uh, keep it. It's for you. Donnie chose his fate long before the game began, when he spoke ill of that which was sacred, an S-tier game. And so I broke his spirit. I seduced his wife. Because for those that dare to defame the perfect game, 
We are not just settlers. We are Avengers of Catan.